I'm Ashley from Yang Travel Art. The class of today will be the lotus flowers. I often use my brush to paint the natural scenes around me. I find it interesting because nature is always changing. For this class, we'll use lotus as an example of this, focusing on different shades of red. For this class, you'll need two different size brushes, rust paper, and black, blue, red, and yellow Chinese painting ink. First, we will use a pencil to sketch it out. Draw a circle to outline the leaf. Then, take out your middle-sized brush. Dip it into light ink, then let it dry a little. Use a sweeping stroke to make a circle. To get a smooth stroke, slide your brush to the right and pan up and down. Press first using the tip of the brush and then sweep with the middle part of the brush. You can also try to paint down and up on the upper part of the circle. Then we should uh, slide your, your brush and sweep from left to right. Paint a little circle inside the leaf. Dip half of the brush into dark ink. Make sure the bit, the middle part of the brush is full of light ink. Before continuing your work, you should test it out on the rest paper to make sure you have the ink distributed properly. Keep sweeping the brush inwards and connect to the section with light ink. Sometimes, when you paint up and down, you will find the tip of your brush becomes separated. This is actually what we want to paint the texture of the leaf. We can add some details with the tip of the brush. Now, we should wait for the leaf to dry some wood before painting the stem. Hmm. 
not than the speed of your strokes affects their color. The faster, the lighter. Let's also paint a stem behind this one. When you paint the little leaf, you should sweep your brush slowly. Use a smaller brush and dip it into dark ink to paint the wings of the leaves. Make sure the big leaf has some time to dry before adding the wings. Paint an arc on the first layer of ink and use the same brush. Use dark ink to paint spots on the stem. Add various dots to make it look natural. Both on and off the wings. 